Hello, and welcome to Historical Humans Reads, where we take primary sources and bring them to your screen. I'm Cullen Coleman, and today we are reading from The Ballad of the White Horse by G.K. Chesterton. Written in 1911, the ballad is considered the last great traditional epic poem written in English. The ballad consists of eight books and a dedication, all written in poetic stanza. It explores a fictional and romanticized account of the exploits of Alfred the Great, an Anglo-Saxon king of the late ninth century. The ballad does not claim to be historical. Instead, it emphasizes literary traditions and the aggrandizement that surrounds a larger than life historical figure, such as King Alfred. Today, we will be reading the dedication of the Ballad of the White Horse in its entirety. With that, let's begin. Of great limbs gone to chaos, a great face turned to night. Why bend above a shapeless shroud, seeking in such archaic cloud sight of strong lords and light? Where seven sunken Englands lie buried one by one, why should one idle spade, I wonder, shake up the dust of thanes like thunder to smoke? and choke the sun. In cloud of clay so cast to heaven, what shape shall man discern? These lords may light the mystery of mastery or victory, and these ride high in history, but these shall not return. Gord on the Norman Gonfalon, the golden dragon died. We shall not wake with ballad strings, the good time of the smaller things. We shall not see the holy kings ride down by severn side. Stiff, strange, and quaintly colored as the broidery of bow, the England of that dawn remains, and this of Alfred and the Danes seems like the tales a whole tribe feigns to English to be true. Of a good king on an island, that ruled once on a time. And as he walked by an apple tree, there came green devils out of the sea, with sea plants trailing heavily and tracks of opal slime. Yet Alfred is no fairy tale. His days are as our days ran. He also looked forth for an hour on peopled plains and skies that lower. From those few windows in the tower, that is the head of a man. But who shall look from Alfred's hood or breathe his breath alive? His century, like a small dark cloud, drifts far, it is an eyeless crowd, where the tortured trumpets scream aloud and the dense arrows drive. Lady, by one light only, we look from Alfred's eyes. We know he saw athwart the wreck the sign that hangs about your neck, where one more than Melchizedek is dead and never dies. Therefore, I bring these rhymes to you, who brought the cross to me. Since on you flaming without flaw, I saw the sign that Gunthrum saw when he let break his ships of awe and laid peace on the sea. Do you remember when we went under a dragon moon, and mid volcanic tints of night, walked where they fought the unknown fight, and saw black trees on the battle height, black thorn on Ethan Dune. And I thought I will go with you, as man with God has gone, and wander with a wandering star, the wandering heart of things that are, the fiery cross of love and war, that like yourself, goes on. Oh, go you onward where you are. Shall honor and laughter be past purpled forests and pearled foam, God's winged pavilion free to roam, your face that is a wandering home, a flying home for me. Ride through the silent earthquake lands, wide as a waste is wide, across these days like deserts when pride and a little scratching pen have dried and split the hearts of men, heart of the heroes 
ride. Up through an empty house of stars, being what hot you are, up the inhuman steeps of space, as on a staircase go in grace, carrying the firelight on your face beyond the loneliest star. Take these in memory of the hour we strayed a space from home and saw the smoke-hued hamlets quaint and Westland king and Westland saint and watched the Western glory faint along the road of Rome. This has been an excerpt from the Ballad of the White Horse on Historical Humans Reads. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more excerpts from original texts, please follow or subscribe to us on your platform of choice. If there's a work you would like to hear, be sure to like the video and leave a comment below. Thank you for listening.